What's up guys, Shippon here back with a new video and as you've seen from the title guys, yes, there has been a new jailbreak and it's for iOS 10 but specifically iOS 10.2.1 So a hacker called Abraham Masari just released a jailbreak called Saigon jailbreak and it's for iOS 10.2.1 devices It's only for 64-bit devices unfortunately but you might be wondering how to jailbreak it so in this video I'll be showing you guys, not really showing, but telling you guys how to jailbreak it and just dropping some more information for the jailbreak community out there. We all know that Apple had released iOS 10.2.1 to patch the vulnerabilities that were used by Luca Tedesco, that jailbreak Yalu, the jailbreak that was called Yalu that released. The Apple released 10.2.1 to patch it and out of nowhere, Masari came in clutch and jailbreak iOS 10.2.1. Now the Saigon jailbreak supports the following devices. It supports the iPhone 7, the 7 Plus, the 6S Plus, the 6S, the iPhone 6 Plus, the iPhone 6, the iPhone 5S, the iPhone SE. Now onto iPads, it supports the iPad Air 2, the iPad Air, the iPad Air Mini 4, the iPad Mini 3, the iPad Mini 2, the iPad Pro, and the iPod Touch 6th Gen. Now, if you didn't hear your devices called, that means it cannot be jailbroken. No, just to clarify, it does not support 32-bit devices such as the iPhone 5C, the iPhone 5, and older models. It doesn't support the iPod Touch 5G and older models, and it does not support the iPad Mini, the iPad 2, the iPad 3, and the iPad 4. Now, unfortunately, there's no way you can downgrade from iOS 11 to 10.2.1 as Apple has stopped signing iOS 10.2.1 back in February. So that's just very disappointing. So, I mean, it's kind of good news and it's kind of sad news. The good news is we see that people are still working on jailbreaks. So that means there's a hope for a new iOS 11 jailbreak because we have these hardworking people in the background doing all the dirty work. Now guys, you might be wondering how we can do it now. I'll be telling you how to jailbreak this thing if you're on iOS 10.2.1. If you're on iOS 10.2.1, guys, you definitely need to go and buy a lottery ticket right now because you're one lucky bastard. I really hate you. I wish I could have your phone. But anyways, guys, the IPA isn't available, so you'd need to use Xcode to create the Saigon IPA file using the source code from GitHub. Everything will be posted down below in the description. Now you can also use Cydia Impactor to install the IPA and to jailbreak your iPhone. So all you need to do guys is go on to Cydia Impactor, download Cydia Impactor, download the IPA file, links will be down below in the description. Then you need to open Cydia Impactor as usual, you guys are supposed to know how to use Cydia Impactor already. Connect your device through USB, drag the IPA drag it onto CD Impactor window, then you need to enter your Apple ID, which is your email and your password. After that guys, as usual, you go into settings. After you've done all that, you go into settings, you go into general, then search for profile and device management, and you'll see the certificate called Saigon. So you just I, you trust the new certificate. It will have an application on the home screen. You tap the application, hit jailbreak and your phone will be jailbroken. Now, if it fails, all you need to do is just reboot and try again. So that's basically, it. that's the steps, everything you need to know about the new jailbreak and what it supports, how to jailbreak it. If you're on iOS 10.2.1, let me know down below in the comment section. If you have any issues, please comment. And also hit me up on Twitter at it's underscore Chevy so I could help you guys out. But yeah, that's it for this video guys. And I always love, Peace and tweaks. Signing out.